This week, we're going to talk about how to capture great Milky Way photos. All right, so this week I'm out on location with my good friends from On One. I got my buddies Nathan and Dylan here with me, and we're actually filming a how to photograph the Milky Way course that we, we put these kinds of things up all the time and on one plus that's that's the community that i coach in a ton and it's got all kinds of free content like this for well content for people that are members of it uh and, and so i'm actually going to link that whole video uh, it's going to be available free just to the general public this one on the milky way i've been having a ton of fun I'll, I'll give you the bullet points of what's in the course is basically you know show up in time to find where you want to be do your homework ahead of time know when there's not going to be a moon when the milky way is going to be visible where it's going to be you can find that stuff using google maps and sun surveyor and then getting on location with a compass uh, find an interesting foreground try to do some work to make sure that you, you know exactly where infinity focus is on your lens, that focus that gets the most distant object in your frame razor sharp and in focus. Unfortunately, most lenses, you hit the end, it's not infinity. It goes focusing past it, everything gets blurry. So you need to find that spot where infinity is perfectly in focus and be able to find it in the dark just by turning the lens focus ring. That's a real trick for doing Milky Way work because you can use your headlamp or your light painting gear and light up the foreground and get that close focus, shoot that shot, but then you want to be able to snap to infinity to get the stars in perfect focus. Um, you know, want you know a full frame camera is better, an ultra wide angle fast lens that doesn't have a lot of chromatic aberration, doesn't have a lot of coma, is going to be a great thing. Coma is that thing where up in the corners of the lens, when it's wide open, pinpoint stars start looking like little birds because they have these little smeary wings coming out of them. Some lenses are worse than that at others. I, I really love. Uh, my Rokinon 14 millimeter f2.4 lens. That's their special production, a little bit higher quality than their 2.8, and it seems to do a great job. Has almost no coma, nice and sharp. Does great work with Milky Way. Um, so, if you want to learn more, if you want to watch the rest of the course, I'm even going to talk about using some complicated stuff like uh, Ioptron Sky Guider, this, this tool that lets you kind of correct for the Earth's rotation. I'm playing around with it for the first time tonight. I'm excited to see where that goes. I'll show some images that we capture from tonight, uh, but if you want to see the full tutorial, I'm going to put a link up. I'll also put a link to some of this gear that I'm using, the Ioptron Sky Star Guider, the Rokinon lens, uh, and some other stuff. So I do want to take one question. I, I've heard from a lot of people asking me you know, how I create these videos, uh, some of the gear that I use. Well, I can tell you, I almost invariably shoot them on the Nikon Z6 since I got it. It's face detect and eye detect autofocus is just amazing. Instead of having somebody focus all the time for me, it just knows where I am in the frame, even if I'm using a really wide aperture with a blurred background. Uh, and I light stuff with LED panel lights almost exclusively at this point. Sometimes I use a, a Kino, which is a fluorescent, really soft light in my studio as a master light. But a lot of times I'm using panel lights and it actually brings me to an interesting subject. I just put out a video uh, yesterday about the brand new LumCube panel light. It's really, really tiny. It's literally about the size of my cell phone and it does an amazing, it puts out an amazing amount of light has a really long lasting rechargeable battery, is adjustable from daylight to warm color. And right now, it's the only thing lighting me is one of these little tiny lights on a light stand. So I'll put a link to that too. They just released those to the public yesterday. I, I got a chance to play around with it for a couple of weeks before the release. And I've been really impressed. It's lighting my bag a lot. So, all right, everybody, that's it for this week. And again, I'll put a link to that full how to shoot the Milky Way video uh, in, in the description. If you just click show more, all the links are going to be there. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week.